what I have here is uh, a portable dual battery setup and uh, and I use this whenever we travel uh, or go camping and uh, I primarily use this for my fridge to to keep it to keep it uh, operating uh, during the, the camping and uh, I actually assembled this myself and bought the parts individually and this one is a uh, DC, to DC to DC charger um, and um, whenever I use this uh, all, all I have to do is plug in uh, this directly to my to the car and the other end to to my uh, to the truck it's uh, and uh, whenever I switch off my truck I don't have to disconnect this um, it automatically disconnects from the battery so um, when you're using it and you're not using the car, um, your fridge uh, will, will continue running uh, without discharging your primary battery of your truck. And um, what I have here is this connection is directly connected to the truck and this port is an additional just in case I needed to add a solar panel a portable solar panel and um, as you can see um, I have this re really dark uh, DC to DC charger uh, the model number is DC DC 1225D and um, And if you open this, that's how it's gonna look like. And um, I have a battery that's 11 inches long. Um, and this is pretty much like a, a uh, MX Dash uh, H6 battery. And I have fuse boxes here too for uh, for everything that I connect this with. Those are fuse. So just in case, uh, just in case uh, I overload this, that fuse will break. So uh, chances of having a fire is uh, is minimized. And also, I have this space in here. As you can see, it's my storage for my stuff. And uh, I have what you call um, this inverter. Um, I, I don't need this actually because my Forerunner already have the, the inverter built into it. But the problem is Whenever using that built-in inverter, I have to turn on the key and stuff. But with this, I can just connect this to here, connect this to that, that and, and I have a, a complete power. And I don't have to, like, turn on the car so that's for that purpose if I need to if I need a 110 volts elect electricity and all these are stored in here as you can see right there those those are my wires and I have other stuff too like uh, OBD2 scanner 
that I take with me when, when whenever I travel, uh, just in case I need that. Uh, and in addition to that, I have an extension wire for my tent if I need to connect it to my to my tent for to power a few things or probably charge something or probably uh, if I need to use my fan in the tent and um, and this stuff um, that I need from time to time to directly connect it to the to the battery And um, as you can see, um, the, the le total length of this one is around 23 inches, 23 right there. And now I have everything here that I need. Um, my outlet is right here. This is to turn on the, this, this this part and this is my outlet I only have two outlets in here for for 12 volts a six cigarette uh, outlet right here, here and I have another one right here right there if I want to add uh, additional ones I, I can actually uh, but right now this is what works for me so right now the total height of this one is around 13 inches okay. and the um, total of around 23 inches And around eleven and a half inches right there. Okay, if you are interested for me to build this for you, I can I can do that. That's pretty much it. Thank you. I hope you like it. You like this video. Subscribe if you want. And uh, thank you.